Hi guys, my name is Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester and today I'm going to be talking about my launch monitor. So this is the Foresight Sport GC2. GC2 doesn't really sound great, it's Game Changer 2 is the best way of explaining it. With also the HMT attachment, lots of letters but it means head measuring technology. All right, invested in this unit earlier this year and it has completely revolutionized the way I coach, the way I do reviews, the way I understand impact. And I wanna share a little bit of that information about this fantastic unit to you guys watching as well. So you might either be looking to invest in one of these yourself. I've got a few guys who've done it already, got a home unit of these. Because linked with the simulator software, which I'm gonna show you as well, it makes a fantastic practice tool, not only a teaching tool, a, pra a practice aid as well. An expensive one, but <laughs> one if you're serious, serious about it, can, uh, can really revolutionise your game. So, how this unit works. There are four cameras down here on the floor. There are two cameras up in the top section of the GC2, which is the big unit. And what those two cameras do at very, very, very high speeds. They take 13 pictures each of the golf ball in the first 12 inches of its flight. I mean, that's impressive. So what all those pictures do then, they manage to measure the ball speed, the launch angle, and it also measures how the dimples are actually spinning on the golf ball. I mean, that's scary, unbelievable. And it's the only real launch one that's directly directly here monitoring impact and can measure it that absolutely directly so from those 26 pictures then it knows that ball is traveling from a to b at that speed at that height at that spin rate that direction and then it knows how far that ball will go it, it, it has to go that far in very very closed parameters and that's what I love about this unit one from a testing point of view so when I test golf clubs I want it to be very closed data so I want to be able to give you guys the most, uh, whether, the, whether it's cold here, it's windy, it's rainy, it's sunny, this doesn't know that. It only knows what's happening at contact, which is huge, it's massive. So that's really good, that's the ball section of it. Then this new addition on the right hand side, on the, right, my right hand side, is the head measuring technology. This has also got two cameras up in its arm. Now they take 13 pictures each of the club head as it's been delivered to the golf ball. I mean, that's unbelievable again. Now to measure that, the only thing you do have to do, and you might have seen these in some of the videos by myself and other YouTubers, these little spots on the club face, these reflective dots. There are three on the toe, one right up at the mid toe, in the middle and at the bottom of the toe, and one in the middle of the heel. The reason being is it gives the club head some parameters. So you can imagine all the different club head shapes and sizes and center of gravities. If we put these dots on all the time at the same place, the, the machine, the, the launch monitor knows what that club head is doing. Because every club is different. I mean, that's clever. To activate it, as you put the golf ball closer to its unit, the cameras are already picking it up. And it wants to be placed inside a box. And the box probably actually in real terms is probably only about six inches wide, six inches by six inches. And again, so it gives it a very measurable starting location. I'm gonna hit a shot and I'm gonna show you what it actually does on the GC2, on this simulator as well. So um, I've just got a seven iron here. This is just the tailor-made RSI, which I've just picked out the bag. Let's give this a hit. So what we'll see on screen now is this golf ball Traveling on the 18th, oh, it's going to go in the bunker. Oh, no, it's just got in that bunker. Slightly to the left, it's told me carry distance, total distance, everything I need to know. But also, most, most importantly, the, all the figures on the right-hand side of the screen here. So I've got, I've got this on my desktop where I coach from, and I've also got it on a big screen plasma TV here. Um, let's have a look at some data. Now, it, it has, has actually come up with a driver club head. So I just need to tweak that and actually put an iron club head in there. But it, for this, it doesn't really matter because it's still the same, exactly the same parameters that we're working off. So along the right hand side, it can give us loads of information. Club head speed, strike location, face to angle, path, angle of attack, loft. And we can then have a look at it. Now, I must admit, those numbers aren't great for me. So if we look at bottom right number first, path, it's 12 and a half degrees from the inside. So that's got, that's got left curvature written all over it. 
My club face then is a further five degrees left of my path. And that's where, we got, that's where we've got curvature. So I've, I've managed to curve that because of the five degree separation between my path and my club face. Now I've hit somewhere near the middle, which was okay. Um, and we can see on the left hand side, my launch angle, my ball speed, my path, a ball path, my distance, total distance, backspin, side spin. We can, I mean, we can see everything, literally everything. And that can even go more advanced. I can go into sections like this, which goes even more data, which we don't particularly massively need to look at just yet because it's still all the same numbers so what i can then look from then i can now say okay well my path was 12 and a half degrees from the end and my club face was slightly to the left of that i'm going to i'm going to fix that this time i'm going to hit a better path number just for you guys so what i would do then is feel like i'm going to hit a little bit of a, a fade type swing to encourage that path to come through straighter and let's see if the result is better So it's down the line, already it's straighter, or oh, it's a little bit short, so I probably didn't hit it amazingly well, just because I tried to change the path so much. But it's giving me data straight away. We've seen the path change significantly by four degrees. And I can, I can give that information to clients. I can say, okay, well, your path is currently this and your face is currently that. It's giving really accurate, incredibly accurate data just by taking pictures of the club head. And it then just analyzes everything we need to know. And the good thing is these two units work separate from each other. So if the ball flight doesn't dictate what the club head data says, it's completely separate, which is great because then you can have a look at what that, that club head data has produced that ball flight. Why? Why has that happened? And how can we affect it? How can we tweak it? I'm going to hit one more. I'm going to get this path even better. There we go. So you can see straight away in three shots, I've managed to hit this ball straighter, just about the same distance as the first one, 170 yards, and my path is consistently coming down. So those numbers now, I started at 12, and now I'm all the way down to six, just by knowing factually what my numbers are. And then working with a coach, working with a professional, you can then improve those numbers. So I knew what to do to change those numbers, and that's where then you guys can go and see your local coach who have got launch monitors either this or flight scope trap man I mean, i'm biased to this i think this one's the best don't tell anyone else but i think this one's the best um only because it just gives really factual information right i'm gonna go one more i'm gonna try and get that path even better than five maybe i should start practicing a little bit more so again guys it's giving really factual super clear data let's see that one let's see if it's better than five 5.9 is my best, 5.3. Every time it's getting better and better and better and better. And as weird as it feels, that feels weird when I swing that, the data is showing me that it's the correct information which then backs up and gives me confidence to continue doing what I'm doing. So guys, that is the Foresight Sport GC2, which is the ball measuring section, and the HMT, which is the head measuring technology. Linked with the simulator is how Golf coaching has been, certainly from my perspective, has revolutionized my whole coaching. My students have got better because of it. My reviews hopefully have got more, more um, uh, closed data, more uh, measurable distances because of it. And it's fantastic for home use and also playing different golf courses. I've only got the Brabazon at the moment. I'm looking to be getting some more. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna try and hit this one in the hole. Thanks very much for watching. If you are interested in getting one of these for home, view, home use, please do comment down below. Let us know what you think. I'd love to hear if any of you do have one already and whether it's good. Thanks for watching, guys, and we shall see you all soon.